Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is a new segment I like to call Mystery Jello Mole. Boo. <laughs> yep. So we got that uh, Jello Mole from Amanda yep. off of our wish list, and we've been ma we made a Jello Mole episode link yeah. somewhere around here. Yep. But I got the idea that what we should be doing is I should be making mystery Jello molds and surprising Tara with them. This is not going to end well. I've seen pictures of jello molds and how bad this could get. Uh -huh. And considering how badly I did with the century egg, which is basically a jelloized egg because you let it rot for so long, this this is not this is not a good place well, for me. I don't think anything we do is going to be as bad as that. That's but, true. Um, so I'm starting us off a little bit simple here because okay. I didn't surprise Tara with surprise. There's a jello mold. <laughs> Which is going to hopefully be how I end up doing Which this Which is going to make every day I come to your house terrifying. So she knows that we're having a jello mold today. She has no idea what the jello mold is. Also, today's a little bit, I, I'm easing you into this one. I did one that didn't sound terrible. Okay. Because there are some that like are macaroni and cheese ones and stuff like that. I've seen hot dogs. It's yeah. not good. We're not doing that. This one is a Coca-Cola Jello mold. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, it's, it's the combining of things that shouldn't... Okay, you guys understand me. I'm a mental eater. All right. <laughs> yeah, but that's better than the shrimp one. Yeah. This is so, oh, God. See, I'm already yeah. like nauseous from the shrimp idea. So before we get to that, I want to tell you about this conversation I had okay. with my mom last night. I told her I was... She's like, what are you doing? I'm like making a Jello mold. I'm like making a Coca-Cola and she's like, oh, those are really popular at church, at the church lunches and stuff. And she goes, you know, you, you know that they make appetizers like that too. And I was like, oh yes, they do. She's like, there's ones with shrimp in them. And I was like, uh-huh. We'll get to that some other day. Today is the first segment of Mystery Jello Mold. So I'm gonna go grab that Coca-Cola Jello Mold that I made cool. and we'll give it a good little try. Cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, it's really pretty. Isn't it? Actually, I did a good job this time of getting it you out of there. <laughs> that looks really pretty. I did the lettuce garnish even though it's not necessary. Okay, that's beautiful. And she actually said that she doesn't mm, she doesn't do whipped cream with hers okay. normally, but I felt like it was presentation-wise, yeah. you know. What's in here is Coca-Cola, cherry jello and cher and cherry pie filling. Oh. And then yeah, actually so it's like cherry That's coke. Cherry yeah. coke, yeah. And then and then pineapple. And someone had said that pineapple doesn't it, there's there's an enzyme in it that stops Jello from coagulating, but oh. you that's why you have to use the crushed pineapple that's been processed because it gets rid of the enzymes. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. That makes sense. We did wonder why. Okay, so I don't think this. I mean, this one's not that scary, right? It doesn't right? sound that okay. scary. Okay, I good, think I'm good. gonna be okay with this one. Good, good, good. My Just... mom says that it's good. Okay. Nice, nice. I, saw, I, I will eventually perfect the removal of the Jello. Oh yeah, the, I think I'll get it done. The I'll first one's hard. Let's do okay, this. Okay, ready? I is ready. Mm -hmm. Big old bite. It just tastes like cherries. Mm -hmm. It does taste just, just cherries, but it's good. Oh, it's yum. That's, That's the best cherry so Jello I've ever had. Seriously, that is the best Jello shape. There's huge chunks mm -hmm. of cherries. It's cherry pie filling. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I'm trying to get Coke. No, it's no. only a cup of Coke. No, this is delicious. Okay, so this is the first of the mystery Jello molds. And it was the least adventurous mm -hmm. because I didn't want to like, I want to make sure that another one happens. Right, and, and you if, don't want me to kibosh <laughs> this and you know if you warm me up to it, I won't kibosh. I found a website that's entirely dedicated to Jello molds. Okay. It's actually entirely de de dedicated to Jello. Oh my gosh. And so it is this woman and all, it's like Jello shots and Jello everything. Like I just want to, maybe I'll we'll have a Jello month. But. <laughs> Just like pickle mug. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, try this recipe. Of the jello molds we've done so far, two. This is good. Uh, on the ratio, I'm gonna put this one above the eggnog one. This mm -hmm, is still mm -hmm. delicious. Oh my god, so this good. Yums. Okay, we're gonna go, and I'm probably gonna eat another slice of this. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara, the mystery jello mold. Bonusy thingy. Bonusy through line. Easiest content I could come up with. <laughs> <laughs>